Glenn, school just ended for the day, but there were uh, crisis counselors on hand, grief counselors as well to assist students and staff members throughout the day. Now we heard from the district superintendent earlier today and he vowed that they will get to the bottom of this investigation. He says they'll find the person responsible for these overdoses and death. An unimaginable tragedy. Two 15-year-old students, the victims of suspected fentanyl overdoses. One survived. The other one unfortunately having perished at this school in the coldness of a bathroom floor. Students expressing shock that someone so young has lost their life over a suspected counterfeit pill. A student that was 15 year old and not having her life, that's sad. It was a concerned parent who arrived at the school around eight o'clock last night since he had not heard from his stepdaughter. He found the teen suffering from an apparent overdose on campus, but conscious. She told him a friend had OD'd in a bathroom. Authorities believe the students purchased pills they thought were Percocet at this nearby park and that it contained the potent opioid fentanyl. The superintendent shared the heartbreak of having to speak with the family of that deceased student. There are no words of consolation that I can express to the mother and the family members that I met with just minutes ago, letting them know that we're doing all we can. This all could have been avoided if we had more campus aid and more teachers, especially going on with the teacher shortage. According to several students who spoke with KTLA, the campus was open last night for extracurricular activities like sports and cheerleading. The LAPD is handling this investigation along with an agent with the Drug Enforcement Administration. What exactly is the priority for your agent assigned to this case? Yeah, I mean, finding the dealer, that, that's always going to be the priority with us. Um, this In this particular case, uh, LAPD homicide has the lead on it. And we assist them. Uh, we help them with some kind of specific drug stuff that we do, and we help them get these cases into federal court. The DEA has a public awareness campaign entitled One Pill Can Kill to educate the public on the dangers of counterfeit pills. Special Agent Bill Bodner said there's still a huge segment of the population they're desperate to reach. And that's the, the real troubling thing is that the word has not yet reached the teenagers that these drugs are not safe, they shouldn't be experimented with, that they all contain fentanyl right now. Lexington Park remains closed now. Authorities also confirmed that there were two additional calls of overdoses near that location. That's the very latest here in Hollywood. Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News. Thank you.